Hi everybody, let's start something new. Today, I wanted to start a new series on my channel that we're gonna call, If You Wear This, Buy That. I feel like there are so many choices out now, clothing, for where to shop, for how to shop. We can get like decision fatigue. I did a whole video on this maybe like two years ago and it kind of, it feels like it's just harder to shop and more annoying to shop because either you can buy everything and hate everything or you end up buying nothing because you can't decide. I don't know, which one are you? So today I wanted to do, if you wear this, buy that. I feel like I can talk about this with like winter boots, with sneakers, with jeans, with, you know, like denim, with so many core pieces of our wardrobe that uh, fundamentally so many people wear. It can be like, okay, well, you know, this style works so well in their wardrobe, but would it work as well in mine? You're gonna get it as we go along. So just keep watching. First thing, if you're somebody who in the fall and winter, when you wear a jacket, is always wearing jeans, what I think you should buy as a fall or winter jacket is either suede or something patterned. So this is kind of just like opposed to, you know, the end all be all puffer jacket. I know sometimes that puffer jacket is all you can wear in your weather, but this is kind of saying like, if it's not negative 500 degrees outside, I think jeans and suede just go together like bread and butter. I think you can find a lot more like actual winter jackets that are suede. I know a lot of what is trending right now is more of like a fall style jacket, whether it's something with a a lot of fringe, bomber, uh, like a little tight zip up suede jacket. I'm literally staring at one right now. One of my warmest jackets is my suede fur line jacket. I'm pretty sure they're called Afghan coats where they have that fur all along the trim. Whether it's real fur inside or just like a lining, is it that extra warm? And then I have another suede jacket that has like a Sherpa lining, both from my mom and both vintage. So they are real suede. And all the suede I have in my closet, I'm pretty sure is real suede and the fur on them is fake or the wool on it is fake I'm pretty sure. Suede is something that it is a little bit harder to buy because it's either super expensive firsthand or secondhand. It's really hard to wash and clean but I think if you find the perfect suede jacket you are somebody who wears denim all the time it's worth it to like go take it to a dry cleaners get it cleaned make that your go-to staple coat. I think it will just make all your outfits look so fashion forward and fun and like you really put effort into it when all you're doing is wearing your uniform and adding a cool suede coat. The other one I say is a pattern jacket and I think this could be anywhere from like one of those like quilted pattern jackets to uh, like a herringbone wool trench, like a plaid wool trench, but I really do just think staying away from a puffer nylon jacket with jeans is the way to go. Also wearing jeans when it's like actually so freezing out are the worst thing ever. They always make me freeze to my core. So if you're wearing denim, I'm just gonna assume it's not that that cold out. Um, you can obviously always layer as well, but a wool texture with a denim is also just like such a good combo. So yeah, next thing. If your go-to in the fall and winter is joggers or leggings, you just play it comfy day to day, which I totally get. I'm somebody who actually wears joggers like 75% of my life in the winter time because it's what keeps me warmest and comfiest. I do think a puffer jacket is the best thing to go with it. I think the silhouette of a baggy jogger at least with a puffer jacket like looks the best. I actually think you can make it look really cute. Not all the time is like a long puffer jacket my favorite, but sometimes it works and I can make it look decent with a pair of joggers, uh, just really styling it into that, like, we're cozy, it's winter, whether it's, like, Ugg boots, moon boots, or even, like, a sneaker if you could get away with, like, one of those kind of more waterproof shoes. I have a pair from Diesel that I always pair in the wintertime with this kind of look. I don't know, it makes it look intentional. I feel like when you're wearing something like a jean and you just put on a puffer jacket, it's like, yeah, that's like her winter jacket. She just threw it on. Making things look intentional can make thing, can make everything look a lot more like fashion forward. And um, I don't know why fashion forward is the right word for me. I guess just like fashionable is the word. Oh, and then with leggings, I feel like, again, it's just what looks best to me because they are athleisure. So I used to be somebody who was like, yeah, I'm gonna dress my athleisure with a blazer, with a trench coat and wear it that way but now I'm somebody who and again I might go back to that way later in my life but right now if I'm gonna wear something at athleisure like the whole thing is gonna be athleisure so pairing your leggings with again just like an Ugg boot a moon boot sneakers and a trench I mean and a puffer is like just completes the look it makes sense yes a trench can like be chic to cover it but I just I don't like how it looks anymore I'm sorry I don't like a trench and leggings I don't think this goes as much with leggings but kind of more so with joggers I think wearing like a waterproof 
style-esque jacket is so cute with a pair of joggers again this is something i do all the time i have this white sierra like bomber style waterproof jacket it is like lined on the inside so you can get away with wearing it in the winter time my brother literally thought it was so cool i had to find him one on ebay but styling your joggers again in this way i think you can do it with moon boots with uggs or with sneakers again and it looks really cool really chic uh style it with like a crossbody bag a little baseball cap a beanie and you're good to go i think you could still do it with leggings but more so joggers okay if you're somebody who wears skirts day to day even in the fall and winter time i do think a trench is your best option it just logistically makes more sense and when i'm saying a trench i mean like to your ankles trench my opinion if you're wearing skirts and dresses in the fall and winter time i think you should be pairing it with a leather shoe or a boot more preferably just again to make it make sense for the weather and the time of year and stuff like that and seeing like a boot peek out from your trench i think is so adorable having your trench completely buttoned up where you can't see anything besides the shoe is fun to me and yeah and when i say trench i mean like a wool I will obviously be putting pictures up on screen. This is so funny too though because in my last video I styled this like white frilly dress with the puffer and like sometimes you know stuff works like that. I'm not saying that only these jackets work with these outfit combos but I'm saying if you're looking to buy something this is what you normally wear nine times out of ten this jacket will look best with what you're wearing. Okay and last one is wear pattern pants most often in the fall and winter time. I think the jacket you should buy is a short wool trench. So one that hits right like above your butt and can really show off your pants. I think like a heather gray, a dark gray coat is the best way to go with this to really let them shine. And I think like we've all been wearing our cheetah pants this past spring and summer, fall. And I think the way to like transition them into the winter is with like a wool style jacket. Yeah, I just like don't think suede would really work well. Can you tell, I like am not into a leather jacket, which is so funny. I really only like a leather jacket right now for like a night out, which is so different than who I used to be, but I'm sorry, that's how I feel right now. Yeah, there's not really much to say. I guess like a leather jacket also works with pattern pants, but sometimes, I don't know, it feels like too aggressive. There's something like a lot softer about a wool that can be paired with more in my opinion, than a leather, especially like looking at the shoe. Sometimes like a leather jacket and a leather shoe feels like too much, but if you're adding like wool and a leather shoe, it's just like more textures. There's more dimension to the outfit, honestly, and it feels more wearable to me. But yeah, I guess the last one I'm going to say is if you're going out all the time, you're going to the bars, you're going... I don't know what people wear to the club, honestly. You're going out on the town. You're going out to dinner. What you should be wearing is a leather or a fur jacket. If you're looking for fur, shop secondhand because even faux fur firsthand is literally just plastic. So it's better to just get a real fur coat secondhand. Also, it will keep you way warmer. I have my Nana's fur coat, the 70s, the 80s. I don't really know. And that thing makes me sweat. I can't even wear it, honestly. So if you're wearing like a cutesy little cocktail dress and you're going out in the winter time, if you throw on a real fur coat over top, you're good to go. Do not buy real fur though, because gross, but secondhand it already exists, whatever. Yeah, I guess that's my last one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I want to do it again. I already have first boots and denim written in my notes and I can do that whenever for you guys, but that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you even like this kind of thing or if it's just annoying and I'm just talking a lot. Well, I always do that. But okay, I love you so much and I'll see you in a few days. Bye!